let us see the construction of helium neon laser a continuous and intense laser beam can be produced with the help of gas lasers a simplified diagram showing basic features of a helium neon gas laser is shown in the animation helium neon laser system consists of a quartz discharge tube containing helium and neon in the ratio of 1 is to 4 at a total pressure of about 1 millimeter of mercury one end of the tube is fitted with a perfectly reflecting mirror and the other end with partially reflecting mirror now carefully observe how a helium neon laser works working of helium neon laser a powerful radio frequency generator is used to produce a discharge in the gas so that the helium atoms are excited to a higher energy level the energy level diagram for helium and neon atoms are shown in the animation when an electric discharge passes through the gas the electron in the discharge tube collide with the helium and neon atoms and excite them to metastable states of energy 20.61 electron volts and 20.66 electron volts respectively above the ground state some of the excited helium atoms transfer the energy to unexcited neon atoms by collision thus the helium atom help in achieving a population inversion in neon atoms when an excited neon atom drops down spontaneously from the metastable state at 20.66 electron volts to lower energy state at 18.70 electron volts it emits a 6328 angstrom photon in the visible region this photon traveling through the mixture of the gas is reflected back and forth by the reflector ends until it stimulates an excited neon atom and causes it to emit a fresh 6328 angstrom photon in phase with the stimulating photon this stimulated transition from 20.66 electron volts level to 18.70 electron volts level is the laser transition the output radiations escape from the partially reflecting mirror the neon atoms drop down from the 18.70 electron volts level to lower state e through spontaneous emission emitting incoherent light from this level e the neon atoms are brought to the ground state through collision with the walls of the tube hence the final transition is radiation less